Today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about prints. We're going to talk about what photography should be all about, which is making prints, the story behind the print, the actual print itself. Stay tuned. I'll tell you more about it in a minute. talk about the making of a print and this is an idea for a series of videos that I've had uh, I've had a considerable amount of people uh, give me feedback about my book and they, they'd love to see what I do in a larger format and a, in, a, in, a, in a more substantial format in a higher quality format I guess so it made me uh, go away and think and I've come up with this concept which is an idea that I've had now for a, a little while and what the idea really is is to um, not only just just you know do the print thing but tell a story behind the print and uh, I've had a lot of good feedback from people in the past when I've been talking about my books and they say we just love you know the stories that go behind the photographs and I think it's a really interesting thing about photography and I think every picture you take has a story behind it if you're able to tell that story it, it just deepens the the value of of that image and uh, adds another dimension to that picture in the modern day we, we take hundreds thousands of pictures and not many of them see the light of day as a print. So what I wanted to do with the series was go through pictures that I, I have a fondness for, pictures that I think are a good reflection of the work that I do, and offering them as high quality prints. So anyway, on with today's episode two, the title of this episode is called Waiting for the Boy, and this is probably not typical of a lot of the work that you see on my channel. It's a picture that I've had quite a few requests for uh, to make a print of. So um, the story behind uh, story behind this picture a couple of years back now i did a, a collaboration with simon donald who is a musician he's also uh, a poet writes poetry and he at the time was working on a project called boy in the hall which is a combination of um, simon performing his music but also his poetry um, we got together in thames new zealand which is one of the oldest towns i think it might be the oldest town in new zealand and uh, lots of old buildings there and we got together in the music store there we walked into the shop. Simon grabs a guitar off the off the shelf. Literally, we um, head upstairs looking for a space, and we found this loft upstairs um, above the shop. There looked to be stuff from decades and decades gone by. There was this all this cool stuff. And we found this little room at the back of the of, of the loft there, and uh, it was like entering another time zone. Perfect for what we were looking for. It just happened to be there. It couldn't have couldn't have been a better better a better setting. Um, just a room with old boxes. There was scrim, you know, wallpaper falling off the walls. Scrim, uh, just a, just a magical place. Just a very very cool place. Perfect for the um, you know what we had in mind. Uh, so we set up shop there. I set my cameras up. We 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 you know got ready, got into it. Simon started playing music. We were in the middle of the session and I think Simon had played a number of songs and uh, he was getting a bit tired so I said, hey Simon, why don't you go and grab a beer? You know, Simon likes a beer, like we all do. So he, um, I said, go and pop downstairs. I, I, I refrained from drinking at the stage because I had photography and stuff to do. So um, Simon went next door to the pub next door and grabbed himself a beer and while he was away, um, you know, when he went out the door he put this guitar up on, on this old 70s chair that was sitting in the corner which he was sitting on and uh, just left this Fender acoustic guitar on, on the chair and I just looked at the, the scene, it was just very cool, the, the chair, the, there was a, you know, a, an old wooden box, light shining through the window and I thought this, this, is, this looks cool. One of those moments where you just feel the urge to pick up a camera and I took about three or four, five or six different shots of this, I took some digital images and had my Leica there as well, took a few shots of that. Uh, and then picked up the Mami R645E, uh, thought I should get a shot on medium format, and this is the actual image that I have decided to print today. My favourite of, of, the, of, of the pictures that I made, um, love the fact that it was on medium format, which meant that I could make a nice big print out of it. Um, Simon came back, had a beer, and we <laughs> carried on the session, I think he did some poetry, and uh, we, we carried on with the magic, it was very cool. Um, one of those pictures when you develop it and you hang the negative up, you see it and you think, that's going to be cool. It's going to be a special picture. 
and everything just seems to work well for me. I just, I don't know, it just, I don't know what it is about this picture, but it just, it just works really well. Just the way the light shines through the window, hits the guitar. Uh, the old 70s chair that's, that Simon was sitting on. This is just a gorgeous print, and when I got it back, uh, when I got the, uh, the prototype back from the printer, just to check it out, um, really wrapped with the way it came out. Um, it's, I think the cool thing about shooting medium format, it's seeing that work come back in a big image, you know? It was made for big pictures, and this is this is quite a nice size image, and um, really wrapped with the way it's turned out. So that's, that's the story behind the print. Um, the print is available for pre-order now uh, from my website. I'll put a link up here for that, and I'll put a link below for it. Uh, now, the idea is that this print will only be available for pre-order for one week until the 28th of August, 2020. Um, each print will be signed. It'll be numbered. Uh, I will also be providing a certificate of authenticity with each print, uh, which will be signed and numbered with the information of that print. This is a C-type print. It's a silver-based digital C-type print created on light-sensitive paper. Um, I've had this printed out on a matte finish, um, a Fuji matte, Fuji crystal archival paper. Um, like I say, the print is available now from my website. Uh, link up here, like I said, and I'll put a link below for that. Uh, and it will be available until the 28th of August only, uh, and that is New Zealand time. So that is exactly one week from the publishing of this video. Um, so if you've picked up on, on this video straight away, uh, you've got one week to order that, that print. That's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's been really cool talking about, I love talking about, you know, the whole process behind photographs and, and, and what went on behind the scenes. It's a it's a very cool thing about being on this whole platform, this YouTube platform, and not only being able to share my photography, but also to share the experiences that go behind the images and the pictures. And this has been a, a good uh, a good way of doing that, and I've enjoyed doing it. Um, kind of a cool way to finish this off, actually, before I go, um, is to um, is to play some music from the session. I mean, that's what it was all about, after all. It was, it was really about Simon's art, which is his music and his poetry. And uh, I think a cool way to finish this off today will be to, to go of a song. So this is Simon Donald and, uh, and some of his beautiful music. Uh, I have to go now. Um, please take care. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Hare um, from New Zealand. This is Simon Donald. Take care. i
and all my blues the justice of